All right, uh, time to do some more RF things. Uh, this is a sweep generator that I purchased off of eBay. Uh, I've been looking at them for some time now and looking for a good price on one, and I found this one. Um, I paid $100 for it, and uh, that, I think that's pretty good. Um, it is dusty. Get the dust off of it. Um, so it is a... I guess you'd call it a VHF generator. It goes to 110 megahertz. And uh, it goes down to 0 0.0, no, point, point 0.1 megahertz, so 100 kilohertz. 100 kilohertz to 110 megahertz. There we go. 111 megahertz, even better. Um, it does that in two ranges, so you can have uh, 0 to 11. Uh, or 0 to 110. Um, CW and then sweep, it's a sweep generator. Um, it uh, allows you to mod mo modify the uh, uh, output level with a step attenuator and allows you to have a vernier. Uh, so if you want fine tuning, you can use the meter and the vernier. Internal one kilohertz modulation for FM and AM. Um, fast, slow, and manual sweep, and then triggering uh, manual trigger of with a button, line trigger or free trigger, free running. Um, sweep the uh, ramp, sweep out ramp. Um, you can do external modulation. Uh, AM modulation, FM modulation, bring those in from the outside. And uh, RF output, yeah, so does it work? Uh, so let me move you over to the spectrum analyzer. So I have it set on CW, and as I crank it, it uh, uh, frequency moves. Uh, here's 100 and 111 megahertz, and 0.1 megahertz. So yeah, that's working very, very good. Uh, if I put it on full sweep, uh, of course they're not synchronized. Um, I might be able to synchronize the two because I have a sweep output on the generator, and I think I can synchronize that to the spectrum analyzer, but I'm going to try that in the future sometime. But we can just put a, a max trace hole there. You can see that uh, uh, we could just sweep a filter if we, uh, if we wanted to wait a while for the, uh, for the graph to fill in. Uh, somebody was commenting on an, uh, another video that I did about uh, what is a um, what does it mean to be a tracking generator as opposed to, to, to why not just use any old generator, and that is that the spectrum analyzer has a filter that sweeps, and the sweeper has a frequency that sweeps, and if the two don't line up, you don't catch it, and so uh, if the frequency that, that you're outputting always matches the frequency that you're inputting, that is a tracking generator and keeps you from having to do long weights like this. All right, um, so uh, we can put this on slow sweep. I don't know if a slow sweep is working. Slow sweep working? Maybe it's really, really slow. Might be a bad capacitor or something on the slow sweep. It's not, it's not moving. Uh, but fast sweep works. Uh, manual sweep also works. There's a, uh, there's a little knob on the, on the front here. I can sweep it back and forth. Um, the uh, step attenuator seems to work. Yeah, it seems to be maybe dirty though. 10, 20, 30, yeah. And this is nice where you have the uh, a vernier so you can set it perfectly. Ah, it looks like it's doing good. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see, we can look at modulation. Uh, this is supposedly uh, AM modulation at one kilohertz. And we can put it on CW. And uh, we can put it on, let's say, 70 megahertz. So let's do a uh, peak search. I'll move that to the center. Uh, and we will peak, peak uh, zoom in on that one. All right, I'm not sure about the uh, levels of the modulation. They seem might be like they're off. We'll, we'll put them on a different analyzer, but this is showing FM modulation 
and AM modulations, they, they are modulating. I'm just not quite sure if the one kilohertz really is one kilohertz or not, um, but we'll measure that somewhere else at some time. Um, and let's see, what else do we want to do? Okay, one quick look inside because I know everybody wants to see inside. Um, it is a, a very heavy instrument. Each one of these uh, blocks here are cast aluminum. So <laughs> there's a lot of big cast metal inside this thing and a heavy duty transformer. So um, yeah, everything is inside of shielded cans. So very reminiscent of the old days uh, where everything was shielded and everything was point to point with uh, with the SMBs, I think these are SMBs, SMCs, I forget. One of them snap on and one of them's turn. I think the Bs are turn and the Cs are snap on. I thought I remember that right. So uh, this is video amplifier, 20 volts minus 6.3 RFN detector out. And then there's another connector over down there. Um, Voltage tuned oscillator, so there's a VCO down here. Uh, fixed oscillator here. A uh, loop amplifier. So I think it's uh, for uh, constant output. There's a loop amplifier with feedback. Uh, divider. Not sure what the divider does. And then at the top we have a discriminator. Tuning voltage, frequency voltage. All right, I'm not that good of an RF engineer. Uh, I don't know what a discriminator is. Uh, I should, but I don't. Free control, tuning voltage, free control. Discriminator, I don't know. Some kind of voltage stabilization or something? I'm not quite sure. Um, and uh, yeah, all right. Uh, we'll just keep this video quick for the day. All right, instead of wasting a bunch of time on this video of me learning how to run this thing, um, I'll take the time to figure out what works, what doesn't work and everything. And on this, in the next video, we'll, we'll, go, through, we'll go through the feature sets and uh, do some more uh, critical measurements and stuff. Uh, see if everything is working as described. And uh, there's a crystal calibrator in here. We'll see if that, uh, if that functions and how it works and stuff. But, yeah, let me get the manual for this thing, and uh, I love these. I love these knobs with the crank on them. Um, yeah. Okay. There you go. New toy of the day.